Duke, remember you said that working as a security guard is dumb and boring? Yeah, and I'll say it again. What of it? I'll tell you that you're wrong, at least from this moment on. Why? What happened? Long story short, the mall where I work was shut down and evacuated an hour ago because of the smoke. Whoa, what smoke? Ah, nothing serious. Some cook accidentally set a towel on fire in the food court. It was put out real quick, but just to be safe, everyone was asked to leave the building. Did anyone get hurt? No, no one was injured. I returned to the security room on my floor, figured I'd read a book or play a game, but then the head of security called. What's he saying? That a child was possibly left behind in the mall. What do you mean, left behind? How can you forget a kid? Especially in a situation like that. Ah, uh, who knows? There was a family in the mall, a man, a woman and their daughter. When everything went down, the mother thought that the father has taken the girl and the father thought that the mother has got her. As a result, only about an hour later did they realize that their kid was missing. Is she definitely there? <sighs> Not sure. I searched my floor. They don't find no kid here. Don't the parents want to go there and help? No idea. They seem to have got into a spat and aren't talking to one another. Just check the cameras. I'm sure you can see every inch of the place on CCTV. Yeah, you're right. I'll do that. See anything? Darn it! What the? We evacuated everyone! What's he or she doing here? What are you on about? There's some sort of mascot wandering around by the kitty section. Uh, what mascot? Who knows? Never seen this one before. I don't recall anyone in that costume that works here. Really? That's strange. Uh, like a clown. No, it's got a sun for a head with a really well done mask. Is wearing pants like a jester and pointy shoes. Send me a photo. All right, uh, give me a sec. Jeez. The way he's looking at the camera almost feels like he knows that he's being filmed. Let me go sort him out. Figure out who this is. I'd give management a call and ask who that is. No, dude. They will take anyone to be a mascot nowadays. They earn peanuts. Literally anyone can apply. We even had a bear here once. Well, not a real bear, some guy dressed up as a bear. And let me tell you something. That guy was not the sharpest tool in the shed. Why? It was difficult to see in that costume and this guy kept bumping into people. I see. Alright, well, go find your mascot. I'll hit the showers, sweaty after my workout. Duke, you there? Yeah. Catch your mascot yet? No, he disappeared. I rocked up, called out to him, but there was no response. I took a stroll around the kiddies area, and you know what's weird? Tell me. I found a small backpack with a name tag, Jill Smith. Probably some kid forgot it during the evac. Yeah, it's possible. I think the missing girl's name is Jill. That's what management said. Hmm, in that case, maybe she's there after all. Hold up. There's movement by the ball pit. Huh? 
we have a slide which ends up in a pit with plastic balls. Pretty cool, actually. Ah, uh, I know what that is. Tried it once. Your hair gets all static and it's dusty. That's the one. Anyhow, there's movement there. And who's there then? Hey, I think it's that girl. Nice. Found her. Wait a minute. It's definitely her. She popped her head out of the pit and put her finger over her mouth. She wants me to be quiet. Why? She hiding from somebody? I don't know. She also pointed in the opposite direction. There's someone there. Who? That's a mascot. He's by the track and cleaning up the place. He's building a block pyramid. He's mumbling something or... Humming? Going to go over there? Well, yeah, obviously. I'm a security guard. It's my job to chase weirdos away. Why did the girl tell you to be quiet? No idea. I'll sort this creep out, then I'll ask her. Keep me in the loop. Whoa! He saw me and charged right at me. He's leaping like he isn't human. He's like he's spring-loaded. He's here. Listen to this. Hello, new friend. You sure up late <laughs> Are we having a slumber party? Huh, that's strange. Yeah, now he's just standing here. His mask is really cool though. Take a pic, I want to see. That's cool. But, uh, what's he doing there? No way! He isn't human! What? He looks mechanical. His torso started spinning around with his feet planted firmly on the ground. Whoa! And now his head is rotating 360 degrees. What is this? The girl climbed out of the pit. She walked up to his pyramid and pushed it over. She then ran to the slide and hid behind it. Why'd she do that? No idea. But the mascot dashed there to rebuild it. The girl is waving at me to come closer. Duke. The girl said that this something is dangerous. It was the reason she couldn't leave the building. Oh, please. Yeah. It forced her to play, clean up, and just refused to let her near the exit. So she ended up hiding from it. She said that you can distract it by creating a mess. That's insane. That's not all. She said that once the lights go out, we will be in trouble. What kind of trouble? She told me that once the lights turn off, the sun becomes dangerous. During the evacuations, the lights were turned off for a short period and she saw its other face. That's creepy. Sure she isn't making this up? Uh, I don't know. Dawn! Someone switched off the lights. Who? Uh, I don't know. But someone just ran past the window upstairs. Maybe the guards. That's part of our job after all. What about that sunhead thing? Where is it? He jumped on top of the slide, <laughs> laughed loudly and slid down. Can't see him anymore. Get out of there. Holy moly! Something's climbing up from the pit. Some creature with dark body and glowing red eyes. You're lying. What's going on? 
He jumped to the center of the room and is screaming that whoever isn't sleeping will be in trouble. What trouble? Don! Ah, ah, he pushed me! And again! No way! Smack him back! Peter? You there? Duke! He ran up to me and pushed me hard! I flew back and fell down! I think he would have finished me off had the girl not hit him with a ball in his head. He fell over and we hid. Where are you now? We hid in a princess house on the playground. Through the window we can see him searching for us. Check what he looks like. This one looks scarier. The other one isn't scary. This one is definitely evil. He keeps yelling something about sleeping and that whoever isn't in bed is going to be in trouble. And the girl's parents? When are they coming to get her? I texted the head of security, no response from him yet. I hope you pass the message on. Huh. She got lucky with parents like that. No kidding. She's real brave, by the way. Said that if we hold out till morning, we'll be saved. It would be weird to hang around there for that long. Want me to swing by and turn the lights on? You can pull in and ask the guys on the first floor to turn them on. Yeah. Alright then, you sit tight. Duke is here. He found us. Naughty children, naughty children. You must be punished. I'm running to your colleagues. What a horrible voice. He kicked one of the walls down. It's as if he's on wheels spinning around the place. Don't give up. We got away, jumped through the door, climbed up the slide, and now watching him from above. Darn! He spotted us! He's running towards us! We went down the slide into the ball pit. Hide there! Duke, we buried ourselves in the pit. He can't see us, but we can hear his screams and him throwing the balls around. I think he's breaking the walls now. This means that the balls will scatter and we're finished. Jill's parents are here. They've got the message. We're all screaming at the gods to let us in and turn on the lights immediately. The balls are gone. He, he broke the walls. Uh, he can see us. Can you run from him? No. He jumps like a giant grasshopper, like an oversized spring. Run! Oh, he grabbed me by the leg and is dragging me somewhere. He's mumbling that I'll fall into deep sleep now, that no one will ever be able to wake me up. Uh, I'm too afraid to imagine what he means. Uh, I'm kicking him, but he has no effect. The guards are insisting that they did not switch off the lights. The lights went out on your floor only. <sighs> that means someone tripped the mains. They check the cameras. Someone dressed as a giant rabbit switched the lights off. You mean he has friends here? I guess. I'm running towards your floor. Make some noise so I can get a lock on you. I screamed. Did you hear me? I yelled out that the electric board is by the fire exit. Yes, we heard you. 
It was a bit hard to understand the fire exit part, but it's clear now. Uh, he latched onto me and it's not letting go. What do I do? He's dragging me to the toy section. There's like a full story drop there. Hold on. We're almost there. Just grab onto anything and everything in your way. Thank goodness. Someone turned on the light. He screamed and ran off. But at least he let go of me. You sure got here quick. No, that wasn't us. We are still on the second floor. Ah, it's Jill. She's running towards me. I guess you heard about the power switch. Where's the mascot? Oh, jeez. He's here again. Now he's back dressed as the sun. He's waving happily and smiling. We're close. The security guards are calling the police. They want to figure out what's going on there. They also want to know who that person dressed as a rabbit is who turned off the lights. I'm out of here. I'm done. I quit. No more. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like and a comment. The more likes and comments we get, the sooner we will release more content. Don't forget to hit the notifications button to be the first to see all our new releases. Have a good one.